UFC 226 has just wrapped up. I'm joined by the boss, Dana White. And Dana, you just had a really nice moment with Daniel Cormier, who has become the champ champ, light heavyweight champion and heavyweight champion. Really genuine between both of you. Talk to me a little bit about what he means to the sport and what kind of representative he is for the UFC. Yeah, no, he's incredible. I, I, I love the guy. I respect him. He's so good to deal with. He's so... Uh, great on the mic when he does television when he fights um couldn't ask for a better ambassador i said to, to daniel cormier a long way uh, i said to daniel a long time ago if you're my champion for the rest of my career i'm good with that yeah and you know you you told me just moments ago he finally is going to get the respect that he deserves yeah. why do you feel like people have been so hard on him well i, I think that you know he, he's first of all he stepped down to 205 so that his friend Cain Velasquez could fight in the heavyweight division. Um, so who knows what kind of opportunities he passed up leaving the heavyweight division. Goes down to 205, does what Daniel does, cleans out the division, but has always had this, you know, this, uh, you know, like in the shadow of John Jones. So this definitely gets him out of that shadow and, and, and defines him as one of the greatest fighters of all time. Do you think he'll be active in both weights? Um, yeah, he can be. He can be, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the actual knockout itself. Not a lot of people were thinking that would happen from Daniel Cormier in the first round. What was your immediate reaction? My immediate reaction was this fight is awesome. I mean, those two <laughs> went in there and, and were going at it. Um, they basically both stood their ground, started trading punches, leg kicks, and, uh, and Cormier caught him. He certainly did. Um, you mentioned that you had talked to Stipe. Is he doing all right physically and mentally? I did. He is okay. He's obviously bummed out, but yeah, he's good. Well, after Daniel won, we had a special guest in the octagon. <laughs> Brock Lesnar decided to make an appearance, start a fight, push some people around. Um, he wants this fight. Right. Are you going to give it to him? Yes. Brock Lesnar will get this fight. What about the situation with USADA? So the process with USADA started uh, this last week. I don't know where we are with the process now, but the process has started. He's he's uh, either in the pool or going to be in the pool any minute. To return to competition. So how long is that testing then? Um, yeah, I think uh, six months. So he's got six months in the pool. Excellent. Okay. And did he seem fired up to make a return to the octagon? You know, what you guys have been speaking. Is this something he's wanted for a while? He's so fired up, man. He, he, he showed up tonight and was just out of his mind and... Um, yeah, yeah, he's he's ready. Did he said did he say before the fight who he thought was going to win by chance? So here's what he said. He he, he his gut told him Stipe. Um, and only because he thought Daniel put too much weight on for this fight. Interesting. Did you get to speak with him after he left the octagon? Yeah, he was he was in my room back here. And uh, yeah, he's he's excited, he's fired up and he's uh, happy to be back. Yeah, we're all fired up. That was pretty incredible evening. Was this the perfect way to cap off International Fight Week for you? The fights tonight were incredible. You know, hats off to everybody that, that, that fought tonight. You know, we had one stinker. You know, if you can have a, an incredible night of fights like this and one stinker, you can you can give them a pass on the one stinker. <laughs> we'll take it. Boss, thank you so much. I know you've got a busy night ahead of you. We appreciate it. What a main event. Thank you. Thanks.